Hey guys, Will Vance from TCI Automotive. Today I want to talk to you about my Easy TCU and give you a real basic install. So here's the kit as you will get it from TCI. Included in the kit are your main ECU, the handheld, the communication cable for the handheld, your cigarette lighter plug-in which serves as your power cord for your handheld, your main harness assembly. This is the RPM module. It is packed loosely in the pack and it will come with every one. This is a very important piece in certain applications which we'll address later. And also included is a complete detailed instruction of the wiring harness and the EZ TCU and how it operates. Now, a lot of guys, the first thing you want to do is kind of kick that to the side and look at it later. That's why we're here today. I'd like to walk you through the harness install and the very basics you need to make this system work in any application. All right guys, so let's walk through our basic install of your TCU wiring harness. As you can see, a lot of harness. A lot of times that's intimidating to a lot of guys who are unfamiliar with electronics. But here's the great thing, that's the whole point of the EZ TCU. We give you a lot of options. Now today, we're gonna to talk about what you basically need for transmission operation. These are the most common questions we get. So I'd like to just take you through a simple walkthrough of the wires you must hook up and how they must be hooked up to ensure you get a proper TCU operation. First, we're gonna start with power. Key thing about the TCU, voltage is key. Always make sure you have a good strong battery that is producing 12.0 or better on the voltage. This is very critical. The red wire will connect directly to the battery. Black wire connects directly to your battery ground. Your other key point is your pink wire. The pink wire must go to a keyed hot wire. Anything that is 12 volts or better when the key is in the run position. So now we are down to our TPS signal. A throttle position sensor signal is critical to the proper function of the TCU. We must see the zero to five volt reference wire on any existing TPS. So if you're dealing with a fuel injected motor, we give you a single wire to where you don't need the whole weather pack. Because all we need to do is splice into your zero to five volt reference wire. Now a key point that's a common question on this. We have this plug because if you do not have an existing TPS. TCI actually offers a remote TPS under part number 377400. This is plug and play. The remote TPS has a common question that comes along with that. On this voltage wire, whether you're using an existing TPS or our remote TPS, even though the system is designed to read the zero to five volt reference wire, we are very critical about voltage. What we have found our system likes to see is if you'll take a voltmeter and probe your wire, we want to see at least a half a volt at the idle position with the key on. As long as you can provide that, we are good. If your system breeds below that, we need to adjust your TPS to preload it to where the system will see a half a volt or better. Now, once you've provided that, you can move on to your tack signal. Now, your tack signal wire, you'll notice, has two yellow wires. Another common question, why two? Well, the case actually comes into play because of our RPM module. We discussed this earlier. The RPM module being very critical only if you're dealing with a GM HEI style ignition, or even if it's an aftermarket. If it is a coil and cap design like an HEI, you must use the RPM module. It's very critical. The RPM module is a simple wire in. You have two wires pre-terminated to a ringlet to go to a ground, a good solid ground. You have the white wire, which will be to the tack side of your distributor, and the yellow wire simply plugs in, male or female, whichever plug you have. Now, if you're dealing with any other ignition besides the GM HEI coil and cap design, RPM module not needed. Again, either wire will supply what we need. We simply need you to take one of these wires and tie it into your existing tack lead signal. Reason we need these, the T TCU provides all base shift points off throttle position versus RPM versus speed. So since we mentioned speed, let's move next to your next basic wire that you gotta have. This is the one labeled as your output shaft speed sensor. Plugs directly into your GM existing speed sensor. Now, TCI does not share the signal, so we must plug in solely. Once you provide that, you are now down to simply your case connector. Once you plug in the case connector, you're ready to go. Now there's always a question, how do I know I'm plugged in right on the case connector? If you'll notice on your transmission and on the harness itself, you have a keyway. This is designed to line you up so you ensure that you're plugged in properly on any transmission you deal with with a TCU. Now that you've got your basic wiring installed, let's check and make sure everything's working properly. 
The Easy TCU handheld does a great job of giving you a little diagnostic screen to look at and make sure we're right. Now to communicate, you simply take the gray comm cable that comes in the kit with a weather pack connector. As you can see, you have a labeled handheld. These plug directly together, listen for the click, know you're plugged in exactly right. Next, you take the other end, plug directly into your handheld. Always a good idea to run the screws down and anchor it just so it doesn't pull against the board. To supply power, you'll use your cigarette lighter plug. It simply plugs in directly above your COM port. Now once we plug in our power cord, you're able to then go to a live data screen where we'll be able to actually retrieve information about the tack signal, the TPS signal, and a speedometer signal. Those are your three key elements the TCU must see so that it operates properly in your application. We shot this little quick video today just to try to help specifically a lot of our street rod guys, but it works for anybody. A lot of questions that we get on our tech line because they think the system is overly complicated. So I hope we addressed what the key components that need to be hooked up. As long as you can supply those signals, this unit will function your transmission and allow you control of the shifts, shift timing, shift aggression, lockup control, everything you want to control about it. All the other wires of the harness are simply an option wire. Now, if you want further information about the option wire, we may shoot a video on that later. But if you have any more questions concerning this at all, always feel free to call us toll free 888-776-9824. Or of course, you can stop online at tciauto.com. Thanks again.